hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video i'm going to show you a very interesting project which has really picked my interest recently so if you look at this project this is simply a free api which is based on https api endpoint primarily this is a local replacement for open ai's dts api and that really warms up my heart because whenever i see someone creating a free API which is compatible with a paid option, it's always great. Now this creator, he has been experimenting with local LLM and then he tried various interfaces and settled on open web UI. And from there, uh, you can enable open AI's text to speech endpoint in the settings and I will show you shortly. So in very simple words, this project, what it does is, it simply provides you a text to speech API endpoint, which is compatible with open AI's TTS API endpoint. And it uses Microsoft Edge TTS to generate speech for free locally. That's what it does. And that is what we are going to do after installing it locally. And I will also be using open web UI GUI interface lit later on so that we could integrate this server with that. But if you don't want to use open web UI, you can simply use its API as a service, which is really cool. And I will all show you what that means shortly. Before that, let me give a huge thanks to Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on good prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs, so do check them out. I'm using Ubuntu system, but you can get this installed anywhere you like. Also, I am using this GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM courtesy masked compute, but you don't need that much VRAM for this project to work. Even you can use it on CPU. So let's first create a virtual environment. There are multiple ways you can get this project installed, but I feel you can get it the Docker, but it doesn't work with the Docker V2. So it means that you cannot use Docker Compose. Uh, so that is why I believe the best way at the moment, in my opinion, is to use it with Python. So that is what we are going to do. So first up, after creating this virtual environment, let's create these prerequisites, which are usual suspects like torch and transformers. Let's wait for it to finish. This is going to take a minute or so, maybe two, three minutes. And while that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of this video who are Agent QL. Agent QL is a query language that turns any web page into a data source. With its Python SDK and live debugging tool, you can scrape and interact with web content. Agent QL works on any page. It is resilient, it is reusable, and it structures the output according to the shape of your query. And I will also drop the link to their website in video's description. Let's go back and check out our progress here on the terminal. It is still running. While that happens, let me tell you a bit more about it. So as I said, it provides you OpenAI's compatible endpoint and you can use, if you're using the OpenAI's API endpoint for your speech requirement, you can use it as a drop-in replacement. It also supports a lot of voices which have become quite known like Shimmer, Nova, Onyx, Fable, Echo, and few others. Also, it has uh, it supports multiple audio formats like MP3, WAV, PCM, FLAC, Opus, and AAC. And you have the option to modify playback speed from 0.25 times to 4 times. Also, you can use either OpenAI voice mapping or sp specify any HTTPS voice directly. How good is that? Okay, so it's almost there. Let's wait for it to finish. And all the Prerequisites from there are done. Next up, let's install FFmpeg after updating my OS. FFmpeg is simply a multimedia framework which is used in a lot of audio and video setups. It's always a good idea to install it if you're dealing with audio, by the way. So let, as you can see that I have just installed it. It is should be done any second now. And that is done. Let me change the background a bit so that you'll be able to see properly. There you go. Okay, now this is done. So as I said that I will be using Open Web UI. So I'm just first going to install this Open Web UI with pip in this virtual environment. Let's wait for it to get installed. 
And if you don't know what Open Web UI is, go to my channel, search it with Open Web UI, and you should be able to get various videos around it as how to install it and how to use it. Installation is as what I'm doing right now, as you can see on the screen. And also, it basically it's an offline graphical user interface which enables you to run large language models and tools offline privately. So let's wait for it to get installed. And I will be using it as a GUI. And Open Web UI is installed. Before you start it, let's also git clone the repo of this H Open HTTS, and I will drop the link to it in video's description. And we have installed it and we have seeded into it. Next up, let's install all the requirements from the root of it, from the root of repo, I mean. So let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, it's already done. That is cool. Now. Here, what we need to do, we just need to create an environment file. And so for that, let's do this. And then just maybe we'll first check if there is any sample available. Nope. So let's create it. Dash.env. And then open it in editor of your choice. And paste this stuff here. We don't need to give any API key because we are not using any API base. It's all local. If you want to change the port, you can here. And the default voice I'm using is Andrew Neural. You can use any other voice like Nova and I mentioned others. And then of course you can change the speed of two. Let's keep all of it as is. Let's save this environment file here. And now that is all we needed to do. Next up in order to run this TTS, all you need to do is to run this command where I am running it with server.py. So let me run it. It shouldn't take too long. And you can see that now this OpenAI HTTS is running on our local system. It's a free Azure TTS or HTTS, whatever you can call it. And you can, of course, you, you can access it through your API calls. Like for example, if you want to use curl, you can do something like this. This is simply a RESTful API where we are using the curl with the post HTTPS function on our local host at port 5050 and same endpoint like OpenAI is compatible one with the v1 and audio speech and you can just give it any prompt like input is hello I am your A assistant and then the voice is echo and we are asking it to create convert this text into the speech here and as soon as I here run it it has created this speech.mp3 file which you can readily run so if I do ls ltr here, you will see we have that speech.mp3. So there you go. This is my speech.mp3 file. Let me play it in the browser. Hello, I am your AI assistant. Just let me know how I can help bring your ideas to life. You see how cool is that? How good is that? Okay, let's go back and maybe I will show you one more example. Let's go back to the terminal where we have generated it. I'm just going to say maybe I'm this is Fahad Mirza. Please subscribe to the channel. Press enter and look at the speed. How good is that? Let me move it to my uh, browser again and then play it for you. So listen to this. This is Fahad Mirza. Please subscribe to the channel. That's good. So our open AI's this um, free Azure TTS or open AI TTS API is running for free. And you can see that it is giving us 200 um, code when we have ran two inferences on it with the curl command. Now, as I mentioned earlier, if you want to integrate it with open web UI, you can also do that. So let me quickly show you how. So we already have installed open web UI. In order to run it on your local system, you just need to run this open web UI serve and it is going to start it on your local system. So let's wait for it to get up and running. And you can see that now it is running on our local system on this port. So let me access it here in the browser. I'm just accessing it in the local host. And first time you just need to sign up, just give it your name and email. So let me do that. And once you create your account and just click on login, you will be presented with this screen. You can just click on let's go. Now here you can set your settings and I'm not going to go into the detail of open web UI because I already have 
I've shown you that in other videos. So let's focus on this one. Let's click on admin panel here. And then you see that these are the users and all that stuff. You can click on settings on the tab and then click on audio. And here you see that you can go with your uh, lot of stuff. Sorry, I'm just going to cancel it. You can go with whisper local. You can go with lot of stuff here. But for us, we are just going to go with TTS setting or the web API and then you see, okay, so you can simply click here. You see it says web API or open AI API. So you just select the open AI and then instead of giving the open AI endpoint, we just need to give this TTS is fine. You can just keep as is because we are not giving any API key here and then you can click on okay so it is asking for something you did. can just say test or something anything doesn't matter click on save and setting saves quickly and you can just then go back here to dashboard and then you can exit from um, admin panel let me exit from here let's click on new chat so that we could chat and then from here you can just record your voice or just say anything here so hello there hello so the reason is it won't work here because i am on my i think it worked because i'm on my vm hello hello there hello hello let's click here let's see what it does because i'm logged in with my thin link vm there you go so it is working now you see it has done it that is quite cool so this is how easy it is this person has made it very very impressed by the effort here i will drop the link to its rapport and beauty description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as it as it helps a lot thank you for watching